President Joe Biden addressing the nation today about the election, committing to a smooth and effective transition of power. It comes as world leaders are calling President-elect Donald Trump, congratulating him on the win. ABC's Perry Russom is in Washington with the latest. Today, President Biden speaking to Americans, two days after voters decided to send former President Trump back to the White House. We accept the choice the country made. I've said many times, you can't love your country only when you win. You can't love your neighbor only when you agree. Biden committing to a smooth and effective transition of power. And I assured him that I'd direct my entire administration to work with his team to ensure a peaceful and orderly transition. That's what the American people deserve. Trump is at Mar-a-Lago, making calls to lawmakers and allies. Elon Musk and Robert F. Kennedy Jr. spending much of the day yesterday with Trump. Sources tell ABC News Musk and Kennedy are involved in meetings as Trump prepares to build out his cabinet and other top positions. Trump and his team are also preparing possible executive actions he could take on day one. Sources familiar with the planning say they're focused on Trump's top campaign promises, including launching mass deportations and tariffs on foreign goods. We want to have borders. We want to have security. We want to have things be good, safe. We want great education. We want a strong and powerful military, and ideally we don't have to use it. There is still some paperwork Trump's team has to sign. It would give them access to office space in D.C. and access to agency employees and buildings. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington.